Alrighty guys, welcome back. This is your host, Idy Jester, John Taylor Games, Stalingrad 1942 Gold Edition. So this time we're actually going to play this scenario, but uh, before we play this scenario, I am going to show you that I have now gone in and edited the actual scenario to make it something that I think is more doable inside the John Taylor system. And uh, you can see I've named it here. We now have eight turns as opposed to seven turns. We're actually starting earlier. We're starting at 6 a.m., which should be the dawn turn and instead of the eight o'clock turn. And uh, turn one of eight, thank you. Uh, hopefully this doesn't mess everything up, but I've removed that other victory point up there. And I've given this one worth 200 victory points uh, victory so we still need 200 for a minor 250 for a major so we have eight turns to basically get this objective right here which for me sounds like something that maybe or maybe not doable here in the John Taylor system the other scenario not doable inside John Taylor I don't know I don't know what they were thinking I don't know what they were doing I don't know Maybe there's something I don't know about the system that somebody else knows, but if somebody can explain to me, that'd be fine. So now we're actually going to play. So first things first, let's uh, make sure I turn off the background sounds and divisional markings are on. We're going to highlight our headquarters. We've got three headquarters, right? So this is going to show us our organization. So this headquarters is going to be in charge of all these guys. All right, so all the gray guys, and that looks good. And it's out of command. Great! 15th Headquarter Rifle Division here. It's got a command radius of 5, so we can see here, uh, shade command range. You can see that if we move up our units too far, it's actually going to send the units out of our actual command range of our headquarters. If we actually click on this unit here, well, if we click on this unit first, you will notice that the highlight of the unit and the text is in white. If you are outside your command range of your headquarter, your text is in gold or yellow or whatever color you want to call this, which means he's actually considered detached from your headquarters because he's not within the command range. So we want to make sure that we keep our headquarters um, in range of our units. Can we move another space? Oh, for the love of God, we can. Thank you. One more? No, that's it. All right. All these units back here again are fixed, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, we were looking at headquarters, weren't we? Right, so let's look at uh, this headquarter unit there. It's got a range of three slash five, I believe is what that number is. I wish, I, I don't know why I should get a file that creates the background text is just black. So this white text sticks out better against it. I probably could do that really quickly, but um, Anyways, it looks like it's three of five. One, two, three. Yeah, so three spaces. The reason it's lowered is because when your morale goes down, you lose some of your uh, range. So uh, there. And then this guy's in charge of that. And he can hold everyone up to that point. So he's just fine. But of course, he's out of command, too. Good job, guys. Good rolls on these check. Oh, all three of our headquarters are out of command. Excellent. Well, that's what I was talking about. I mean, if everything goes great and we're able to move up our units and our headquarters stay in command and everything goes perfect, maybe we can get some of this done, but I doubt it. All right, we're going to start moving units up. Gonna take five men right there. Beautiful. Uh... More losses there. 
Let's see, where can you go? Right, so we're going to move you up here. Five more men, so yeah. So we lost uh, how many men here? By just moving up three units, uh, we've lost 12 men. We only lost one victory point, but still. Um, attackers always take losses, heavy losses. Uh, our artillery now, can you, you can spot. So the question is, who do we want to try? If we break this guy down, these guys have come up by the hex. We're still going to be stopped by this guy. By the way, we should look at this as well. Uh, campaign, can't do 350 men per hex, right? So we can't just jam a thousand men into a hex because we're going to take a whole bunch of losses, right? So th what was I say? 330? Is that what I said? 350 All right, men per hex. Maximum road movement is 1300. So these guys have moved up. They do have a few movement. Uh, they are yellow, so we should be able to shoot once. We can't assault, right? If I try to move in. Oh. Not enough movement points to assault, right? So we can't move up and assault in one turn. We're going to have to bide our time. Hopefully do some damage to the enemy here. Six men. Take, we're out in the clear though, so we're going to take a bunch of damage. Uh, our artillery should be able to spot these guys. So let's let's see what we do have. Uh, we do have air results as well, right? Now, unfortunately for us, because we're playing without fog of war, we can see what's going on with the enemy units. So we have a good idea which one maybe might be a good idea, you know, if one's disrupted well we'd know if he's disrupted but we know how many men he has we know their morale we know how much fatigue they have if we can cause here missing so we got an il2 stomdika from the 206 assault aviation division of the eighth army make sure uh before i do this make sure you always you're not checking your units and then go to your air dialogue because if I do that, it'll actually send it out and wherever hex I've highlighted. So make sure you highlight the text, then or highlight the hex. That's what I meant to say. Then do your air mission. Air mission intercepted by enemy. Right. So we got nothing. Good. Remember I was talking earlier when uh, in the intro about how if we had everything go perfect, maybe, just maybe, we could get through this first line in two hexes? Well, we've had our air unit disabled. We've had our three headquarters are out of command. Our air attack didn't happen. And so you can see that we're there's no way. Uh, we're actually going to bring you down here. Two men, shoot back in there. Two men, and you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. All right, and so now we have the penal company with their morale of E, which means these guys are not going to be very good. Yeah, I'm just wondering why they decided to mine that. Maybe historically they decided to mine that for some reason. I just don't see a way over across the north part with this bridge being destroyed or damaged. You saw from my save file, there was no way for us to actually get across there. 
if we turn the units off, Yeah, I don't think there's a way. I think the I think the Russians blew that bridge up, so I don't think there's a way across there. I mean, if I was wrong and there is a way across there, well, let me know. I mean, you have to go, to go across a bridge. You have to be in travel mode, which means our units would have to break this guy, disrupt him, and then go into travel mode and assault across the bridge in travel mode hopefully push him out of there but then we're in travel mode and we got all these units that might be able to I know they only got a range of one but uh, there's artillery here that can start bombing us more artillery but I don't think uh, yeah I don't think there's a way across there I mean, we're going to try, because why not? Well, that's why not, because we'll get our units disrupted. And both of them are now disrupted. Excellent. Excellent shooting there by these guys there. So it didn't matter, because we can't get anybody across up there anyway. So, all right, you guys... We can put these 336 men with these 334 men, and that would cause no problems, I'm sure. Ooh, they didn't attack us. Well, that's good. I'm going to get these engineers. Oh, they can't even make it up there, damn it. They're done with their movements. And our headquarters, we're going to move him. He's got no moving points. We, oh, we already moved him right. All right, well, let's use our artillery now. Uh, and oh, this is a anti tank. Oh, this is not auditory. <laughs> it's an anti-tank battalion, which has to go into travel mode to move. Where can you go to? Uh, I guess move it all the way up to the front. Why not? Do you have enough moving points to take it out of travel mode? No, we don't. And these guys are all fixed, so we are done with turn number uno. Beautiful. Uh, where's our headquarters? Uh, I think there's a way to actually move it to top of stack. There we go. Uh, right, so we wanted to see. All right, well, this guy's out of command still, but we're covering just about everybody else. That's fine. All right, well, we're going to call this uh, chess scenario number one. All right, enemies are bombing us. Nice. More men losses. Oh, we disrupted one of them, actually. That was, oh, we disrupted two of them. Nice. 
One of our three headquarters is out of command. We do have air units available. Two units low on ammo already. Uh, and one of our three units rallied. This guy down here, which is good. So it means these two guys are still broke. Uh, rally, not broken. Yep, yeah, disrupted. All right, but we did disrupt enemy there and enemy there. Of course, with fog of war turned off, things are a little bit easier for us. Because we can actually go in to highlight and disrupt and broken units. So you can see. Oh, we actually disrupted and broke him there as well. So we go into assault mode. We're going to... No, we can't assault them because we're disrupted, of course. So let's, uh, let's fall back, unfortunately. Uh, this engineer is... All right, let's... These guys are still fixed, still fixed, still fixed still fixed and the headquarters is good for us okay um right so this if we could get a disruption on this guy that would be super good three men four men and that's it uh take him out of travel moon That was uh, some weirdness. I think my keyboard might need some new batteries or something. I don't know what happened. The computer keeps still recording though, so mm, I don't know. Uh, anyways, right, so this guy, only nine fatigue. Still got a lot of guys, but we can take advantage. I can. What's going on, guys? Um, oh, that disruption up there. We're going to assault with just this guy. Yes. Hmm. Let's think about this. We throw this guy in. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we want to do that. So our attacking odds are 292 to 143. Tanker modifier is zero. Defender modifier minus 20%. So I lost 20% of my. 332 straps it down to 292 oh, well it's even worse now because we took some losses Good. Uh, oh we took a lot of guys losses here it's 21 versus his six but we did force him out of that X Maybe I should have thrown a penal colony in there as well, but I wanted to use that for that. Four in there. No, oh, you guys are low ammo. Well, you're going to have to go in with the assault. can't bring these guys up, right? They're not going to have enough to assault, yeah. Alright, just resolved. Again, we took huge losses, but we had to do it to get them out of their damn defensive position. 22 versus 2. But... They're disrupted. We are not disrupted, so they have to leave the hex. So that's um, another very important rule to remember is that if the all the defenders are disrupted, all of them have to be disrupted, and there are some of the attackers 
that are not disrupted, then the defenders have to retreat. So you guys can still shoot, shoot them. All right, so we'll take some of these losses back that we just happen to have. Uh, sir, shoot them. So these guys are all done. He is moved, but he can't move anywhere else. Uh, engineers. Maybe try to clear out this. Another low ammo. Uh, so this guy is not disrupted. We could try an assault. These guys are all fixed still. Okay. Um, sure, why not? Oh, I gotta select my unit, right? Go in there, boys. Five seventy five to two eighty six. So we lost double his men, or double the amount of men there, forty four to twenty. So yeah, again, <laughs> I'm doing this based upon the assumption that we have to get, you know, this is the same scenario that we have seven turns to get all those victory points. Uh, you know, that one that was way up here for 100 points. So I'm like trying to push every time I can, but you can see it's just not doing it when the defenders in trenches, they have, uh, you know, they're not taking damage to their morale or their fatigue. It's very hard to get them out of their little bunker. So, or trenches. We've got units that are low ammo already. We were able to force out a couple of them because they were disrupted, but. All right. Uh, you can move up to here. Far as you can go, you guys are all fixed, right? And you've shot. Right, we don't have, we haven't done anything with this hex yet. Lost a gun. Okay, well, that's the end of turn number two. Let's see how bad it can go for turn number three. All right, so our units are now released. Air units are available. I think we had a last turn. I forgot to look because I'm dumb. Two units low in ammo, and zero of our three units are have recovered. So, yay, these two guys are still disrupted. And where was our other guy? Oh, this guy's disrupted somehow. Just going to move him back. Going to move this guy up. Disrupted again. Which means we could assault him if we had. Our right, engineer is going to go in there and try to clear the mines if he can stay alive long enough to do that. You guys need to call this guy.
low ammo, low ammo. So these guys are all low ammo down here at the bottom. Any of his guys end up doing anything bad, like low ammo? He's got a, he's got a couple disrupted units and one with low ammo. That's it. Yeah, he's unavailable because he shot last turn and failed his check. All right. We need to get rid of this guy. Some, I mean, we can keep throwing guys at him, but. <laughs> All right, these guys can go there. <clears throat> I don't know if we want to keep these guys is a reserve so when these guys disrupt we can move them back and bring in the new units i think that's what we want to do uh i mean 22 vehicles count as 220 guys in a hex if we overstack it well we're gonna dry because why not in travel mode, that's what costs us a bunch of stuff. Isn't it? Well, just some fatigue, fortunately. Uh, bring this guy up there. Yes. you guys come up to here we're fine four twelve and a Move these guys down to the trench line, you think? Bring these guys over here. Yeah, a lot of them still in travel mode, but hopefully, let's take this guy out of travel mode. Oh, Jesus. Oh, our guy become disrupted. Well, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Let's bring our guy over there, and then we can bring this guy up there. You want to mess with us, do you? Okay. Mm. So we've already got three or four guys disrupted. Uh, we want, where is it, this one? So we got one, two, three, four. Then we have two disrupted. Again, when we go back to our, you know, if everything goes perfectly and we're able to get through this first line in just one or two turns, but you can see that it's never going to happen in one or two turns. Not in the John Taylor system, no way. Your units take too much punishment and bad things happen all the time. And I mean, literally we only have a 
58% chance to have our headquarters in command, which it is this time. And this guy is actually in command. And where's our other one? God, it's in here somewhere, isn't it? Where are you, headquarters? Uh, there you are. You're in command as well. Look at you guys go. All right. Well, I think, uh, yeah, these guys didn't run. I was going to bring more reinforcements up there, but again, I don't think there's any reason why. So we're going to end the turn. And that's two turns gone. Boom. He moved up his head. Oh, we disrupted that guy right here, which is going to be helpful. If he doesn't. All right. Uh, oh, shoot. I keep forgetting our air units are available. Clear enemy mines. Rubble. Excellent. Um, four units, low in ammo. Two of our five units passed the morale check. Two of five. Even though all of our headquarters passed, only two of our five. Uh, one unit recovered fatigue, one unit recovered losses. So these, uh, the penal company, yeah, we could bring them back up front. That would be, this guy's still out of action. All right, let's, all right, so a guy here down the south, disrupted and low ammo. We're going to have him fall back. This guy here, we're going to... Bring him out. Oh, our tank's in low ammo. Great. Uh, change him on a travel mode, too. We were able to get a disruption and notice whose mines are no longer there. Yay! Good job. And this unit is low on ammo. And salt that guy. Use our engineer, oh, engineers as well. They're usually good at salting. All right, resolve that assault. All right, so we lost 13, but they lost 39. And we got that position. They're disrupted. Our guys are okay. Good. I want to. Those mines taken care of, I think. All right, penal company, come in there. Ooh, wow. We need more than that. Huh. Uh, so that's four men in the vehicle, the four men. Nah, it's just not good. Just not good with these low ammos. Right, you guys, you have to take that position by yourselves. You're gonna have to, you're gonna take some damage, but all right, we got that position. go to yeah we go here K 
Okay, we'll take a little bit of fatigue. I'll take a little bit of fatigue. Uh, get these guys out of there. We go. All right. Headquarters. Keep them moving that headquarters up. You guys are disrupted. Come in with the head. Come in with the headquarters. All right. You guys. One, two, three. Move them there, which I think I will. Try and get them out of trouble mode and not get them killed. There's three men. All right, good. Hmm. Let's not forget our air mission now oh do we not have it this turn <laughs> figures oh it's because it's unspotted right 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 let's take care of it. let's do a damage there air mission go <laughs> That's what we did. A whole five men. All right, these guys. Let's uh, take a shot at these guys. Our southern flank is not doing very well this time. All right, uh, so we are going to take you because I don't this AA battalion AA guns. Where is a good spot for you, my friend? Push you down here. Yeah, three vehicles. Great. Ah, you're still disrupted, low ammo. You gotta move towards the headquarters, dude. Get your butt up there. Um. We're gonna take you out of travel mode. Change travel mode. Set up. Change travel mode. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. going to fill in the gaps at if I don't move the headquarters yeah we can move these guys a little bit farther good 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 bring you guys up there bring you this here you've actually not shot yet oh uh so we actually have this guy that can shoot And then this guy, uh, righty, all right, you guys are setting up, you are moving, where are you moving to, that's a good question. 
to move you up there. And I think I'm actually going to move this guy up a few hexes. Start moving him up. You do 20, but just in case. Uh, there's our supply source. 57, 58. Great. If you guys, uh, you've recovered. Sure, move up. Give them something to shoot at. Alright, eight guys dead. Eight to one. It's pretty good in favor of, uh, enemy there yep yeah uh original scenario basically the same thing we're just doing other than we've got seven turns to get 200 victory points we have for a minor victory we currently have minus 22 points yeah mm -hmm. we took 411 losses yeah we've taken a couple pretty big ones Couple guns, some vehicles. Really? Hmm. Alright, well, I think that is the end of our turn and the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care.